The new mutated coronavirus strain first detected in Britain has been confirmed right here in Michigan. Health officials say it's only a matter of weeks before it will become the dominant strain. Joining us with more on this is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Dr. Nandy, good Monday afternoon. Afternoon, Alan. How are you? I'm good, doctor. Thank you so much. So what can you tell us about the first case right here in Michigan and how concerning is it? So it's pretty concerning, Alan. Scientists at the Michigan Bureau of Laboratories were the one who really found the UK variant in a, in a test sample. The woman that was infected is from Washtenaw County and had recently returned from a trip from the United Kingdom. Unfortunately, two of our close contacts have also been infected. We're not quite sure if they have the same UK strain or not. And that's because it takes at least five days to fully sequence a test sample. You know, Doc, health officials are very concerned that this variant could mean higher case numbers, hospitalizations, and of course, tragically deaths for Michigan. Do you agree with this assessment? Unfortunately, I do. You know, this is very, very possible, Alan. So the UK strain was first detected, as we talked about, in September, and now it's spread to 30 countries. Now it's in at least 10 states in the United States, with the CDC now predicting, get, get this, that by March, this strain will be behind over half of all the new infections. The reason behind all these higher numbers are, that, that are likely to are in our future comes down to a few things. Since the UK variant is supposed to spread faster, about 50% faster, that could mean the virus spreading to three people instead of just two, right? With more people getting infected, this means more people in the hospital and, and possibly overwhelming our healthcare uh, system and resources. Now this strain, I repeat, is not more deadly. But we know that more infections mean higher number of illnesses and eventually leads to more overall deaths. You know, Doc, we've reported on people getting vaccinated here. You have been vaccinated. We've now moved to the state now into phase 1B. But as more people do get vaccinated, that should impact our numbers and maybe stop them from, from even going higher? 100%. I think, Alan, getting vaccinated is going to make an impact. And hopefully the process of getting people vaccinated and that speed, right, will go up. We really need to get people vaccinated more quickly. However, while we wait, here's the critical part. It's vital that we don't let this pandemic fatigue, as we've called it, get the best of us. Don't let all this stuff that's going on, meaning that I can't wait anymore, this is too long, you know, lead you to make bad decisions. The new virus strain now can more easily latch onto our cells, right? The, to me, the end is in sight with the vaccines coming. So please continue to wear masks, social distance, wash hands, and, and also, Make sure that when you can get the, the vaccine, please get it so you can be protected. That's how we can come to an end uh, from, this, from all of this virus and the related behaviors and all the limitations that we're facing. We can get back to normal. We have to do it together and understand uh, that the future is bright. Absolutely. You said it best there, Doc. And we all need to continue to follow those health guidelines until we can get vaccinated. Dr. Nandy, thank you so much for your time. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you. Amira.